Hello interwebs, it is Monday, September 27th, 2010, the most amazing day that is today. That is, uh, that's 100% true most of the time. Today, I want to say, I want to start off today, I want to say to you today, I missed you. I love you a long time, and I hope that we can still be friends who touch each other in the private areas. But I want to move on to our first story of the day. I want to move on to the first story of the day, and that is our douchebag of the day. And guys, our Monday douchebag of the day is a guy by the name of the Where's Waldo Robber. Obviously, because he looks like the Where's Waldo do with the wrong colors, which right away just shows me he really doesn't care. Though what we do know is the name of the Where's Waldo robber is Ryan Homsley. The reason we know this is because Ryan took to Facebook to brag about robbing a bank, making him possibly the worst bank robber ever. So Ryan starts off kind of sly. He's like, oh, look at this story that happens to be on the internet. Isn't that guy awesome? Then he starts saying stuff like, I did something because I need to pay for my medical expenses. Live for today. So it's getting kind of weird. Then he starts saying stuff like, this is the song I heard in my head when I did it. But if you pay attention, he still hasn't admitted to... Fuck! And a day later, he was arrested for being a bank robber. Why would your Facebook status say, I'm now a bank robber? There's no metaphor for that. You have reached the point of no return. You can't look like the bank robber and say you're the bank robber. That doesn't work. Now, if you said this out of context, maybe, you're like, well, what I meant was your mother's vagina was the vault, and I've been robbing that shit 20 Sap. Why would he talk like that? I don't know. Main point being, don't be stupid, stupid. If you do something illegal, don't Facebook about it, tell a woman, or write it in your journal. Keep that shit locked up in your brain box. Or don't be a useless piece of shit in general before the fact. I'm just trying to help. Next thing we should talk about is the sex of news. Now, if you had not heard, Katy Perry's episode on Sesame Street, which came back, did not air because apparently she was wearing too much cleavage, which I don't really see in this picture. I just think that's a terrible outfit. So they didn't put that episode on TV, but they were like, hey, who would love Katy Perry? and kind of, you know, showing off a breast is this fashion. YouTube! Oh my god, yes! And so it got millions and millions of views. And everyone was making a big deal that Katy Perry was showing some cleavage on the Sesame Street. But Katy Perry at this point understands. She is a blue ball McCock teaser. So when she went on SNL, she wore this. Because the best way to spin your episode of Sesame Street not airing because your boobs are too big is to find an Elmo shirt and crush it with your giant breast And bounce. And bounce again. That was a little creepy. I love it when they bounce. Anyway, this is just another way of a woman getting exactly what she wanted by doing exactly what she wanted. For example, side note of the day, did you know women kiss guys for more reasons than being blue ball McCock teasers? It's in their blood. When a woman makes out with you, she's getting germs from the guy and making her immune system stronger. So there you go. Science proving that once again, women are bitches or something. And of course, let's move on to the big story of the day. And that involves a cop in San Jose, California. Now, Officer Bowman found out that a 15-year-old boy was having sex with his 14-year-old daughter. So did he A, have a conversation with his daughter about not being a slutty McSlut slut and having protection. B, explaining to his daughter that if she continues having unprotected sex with boys, that she'll end up possibly having a baby and being miserable and disappointed for the rest of her life, kind of like her father. Or C, going to the 15-year-old boy's house, handcuffing and falsely imprisoning him in front of his parents, and threatening him with the anal sex he will receive in prison if he continues having sex with the officer's 14-year-old daughter. Now, seeing as C was extremely detailed, you can assume that's what he did. Because it is. Now, the best part of the whole thing is that it was all caught on tape, which is a beautiful thing because I get to share it with you. Now, a lot of people are up in arms. The officer should go to jail. Other people saying, well, he's just a concerned father. You wouldn't understand. And Officer Terry Bowen said everything was done in the spirit of reaching a troubled young man who was heading down the wrong path, which is an analogy, of course, for his daughter's vagina, which that boy was having sex with. And also, I would not falsely imprison and threaten a boy in front of his family. Obviously, you would find him when he was alone and kill him and bury him somewhere where no one would find him. You're a cop. You know those places exist. This is Bush League. But of course, there's a lot of differing opinions. And that will lead us to our Monday question of the day. Did the cop go too far? Or was it the justified reaction of a father angry that his daughter had sex with some 15-year-old boy? I'd love to know what you think, so leave your comments down below. I want a video response. Now, guys, of course, that's only some of the stuff that stood out to me today. If you want to check out today's The Nation Is Sexy slash Awesome Contest winner, any of the stories, even more stories that I didn't talk about, click on those links in the description below. Like I said, guys, it's awesome to be back. I love and missed you. And as always, my name is Philip DeFranco, and you, well, you've been filled in, and I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern.